Welcome to the Motorhead Dirty Dozen Questions. Please state your name and tell us something about yourself. Uh, my name's Stephen Clark. I'm 29 years old and I'm from Stourbridge. What was your first bike? Uh, KX60 before they bought out the 65 with the twin shrouds and everything. So I had the old school 60, it was an automatic. Um, and it was actually Chad Yarrington's old bike, funnily enough. It came with a number five on it and that's where that came from. When and where was your first race? Honestly, I don't remember my first race. Um, I want to say it would have been maybe like Bromyard 97 was like the Cotswolds um, schoolboy championship. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd have to guess about Bromyard, yeah. Man, I don't even know. I'd have to get back get to my dad on that one and get back to you. Could you change a piston? Uh, yes, yes I can. I was going to ask 250 or four, uh, four stro two stroke or four stroke, but I can change them in both anyway. So yes, the answer is yes. 2017 when I was doing AMA, I, I was over there by myself. My mum was with me and another rider, but my mechanic was flying to and from the races. Well, I blew my practice bike up on a Tuesday and had to take the head off, redo the lock, new piston, new valves, cams, everything all tighten, tension everything up, adjust the valves and everything. And I did it with Stu on FaceTime, walked me through it. And I've done it a few times since then. And, you just once you've done it a couple of times you kind of know what you're doing um but it's a nice thing to learn i think because the more you know about your bike the better it is isn't it yeah. who's the best rider you ever saw oh i'm gonna have to say the best rider's got to be james stewart uh in i mean i've seen him in person been at his races and everything you know at the beginning of my ama career but just some of the things that man can do no one else can do and to me that's special you know there was a lot of people will argue that Carl Michael was a better rider because he was the greatest of all time or Stefan Everts because he's got 10 world titles and Everts' racecraft was incredible but he still couldn't do some of the things that James Stewart did on a bike man and he's phenomenal. What's the best track in the world? Ooh, I'm going to have to say Matley Basin. Not because I'm English but the track is unreal, the jumps are amazing and it's always prepped really well, do you know what I mean? And the ruts are just curled over it's perfect for me i love it i've won there twice now in the european class yeah. i'm actually hoping i can try and talk my way into the nations team for this year there because i mean i, I know it was i know 100 i'm as quick as tired as comrade and ben ran there you know it, and i think it'd be nice to get my chance to represent england but we'll see on it who has been the biggest influence on your career uh the biggest influence in my career is definitely colleen mills apps from mtf I, I was just a local club level rider before I went there and uh, put in a lot of time and effort of my own time and effort with her and uh, got me where I am today to be fair. I owe all of my speed and form and technique to her. It's quite mad isn't it really. That's, I literally wouldn't jump a 10 foot double before I went training there and I mean I'm, now here I am. What's the best bit of motocross related advice you've ever been given? Never give up in a race. There's so many times where you get like three quarters away into a race and you feel like you're settled into a pace and if you don't give up, you don't know what's going to happen in them last few laps. A lot of people will be tired, dropping back, crashing, anything and uh, a few times just from not giving up. I've won races on like the last half a lap because someone's made a mistake or got tired. So that's, I mean, the biggest piece of advice here would definitely be don't give up towards in a race. What's your greatest motocross memory? Being on the podium, uh, like being on the podium doing an interview at an AMA Supercross with the fans there on a night show, and it was only an LCQ win, but I got to go up there and I was on the telly and you know what I mean and talk in front of all them people. I just think that's special, you know, because that's a small list of people that get to do that sort of thing. What are the keys to your success? Finding a good balance, I think, is a, is my key. Finding a good balance of riding, training, and having a normal life. You know, there's a lot of people that go so into the training side of it, they they lack the riding side of it. And there's a lot of people that do too much riding, not enough training, you know. And I, now I've got a good balance and you've got to have a normal life as well. You can't, you've got to be able to switch off from it, if you know what I mean. And then it uh, makes it easier to get going again when you pick it back up. What is your greatest fear? I don't like heights. That's, I don't like heights, that's a bad one of mine. I'm on top of a building, mate. I'm, I've got sweaty palms, I'm all clammy and everything. <laughs> What's your most embarrassing moment? I got convinced to wear a tutu at a, like a motocross presentation when I was about 10 and everyone just 
took pictures of me. I thought I was just going to put this tutu on, thought nothing of it, and then they all took pictures and it come back to haunt me at a later birthday. <laughs> the fluffy pink tutu. What is your guiltiest pleasure? Oh, sour sugary laces. Man, oh, I could eat them. I could eat them till the cows come home. Literally, I don't. Some people will eat a pack of sweets and say, "Oh, I feel sick now," but I could literally eat them till they're coming out of my ears. Yeah, I've got no enamel left on my teeth from it. I think. Thank you for taking the motorhead test. No, those are cool questions.